Welcome. The purpose of this video is to introduce the idea of a switch mode boost converter. And we'll talk a little bit about how it would function uh, inside a control loop. And we'll talk a little bit about the circuit uh, that actually implements the uh, boost converter. So the picture that we have here is um, sort of a generic picture of a uh, voltage supply system. We have some voltage uh, source VN and uh, we have a switch mode converter which changes the input voltage VN to some uh, other voltage V out. And typically, at least for a boost converter, uh, we will have the situation that V out is greater than V in. So the idea is VN may represent a battery which might nominally provide 3.3 volts but we have a load that we want to run at say 5 volts so that we would need V out to be 5 volts. Uh, one way to do this is with what's called a switched mode converter. Uh, switch mode converters are helpful or useful in this context because they have a, a fairly high efficiency uh, when changing from one voltage to another. And in fact, uh, the switch mode converter, which has been developed in the last 15 to 20 years, has really made a lot of things possible that used to not be possible. So you can uh, regulate voltage supplies and uh, create new voltages on a printed circuit board uh, to run different portions of a circuit. Um, this is the sort of thing that really just wasn't that feasible uh, even 15 years ago. So in order to understand how the switch mode converter uh, does its magic, we'll start off by looking at the system from the perspective of control theory. Because um, the way these things are usually implemented, you have a boost converter that's controlled by a controller to get the sort of system response that you want. Okay, so here's a picture of a uh, switch mode converter and we'll go through this again identifying the different components from the perspective of control theory. We have a reference voltage and this reference voltage is uh, related to the desired output voltage that we want for our converter. Now it turns out it may not actually be the desired output voltage but um, it's a reference that we can use to get that desired output voltage. We have a controller. Okay, The idea behind the controller is that it takes the error at this point, this is the error, between the reference voltage and um, a scaled voltage coming out of the boost converter. We'll go uh, look at the scaled voltage in just a minute. So it um, changes or it uh, looks at the error between what we have and what we want and responds to that error by changing D which is the duty cycle of a pulse width modulated waveform. The boost converter itself is a circuit this circuit consists in its simplest incarnation of an uh, inductor, a diode, a switch, and a capacitor. Okay. From the perspective of um, the control theory that we're looking at right now, the input to the boost converter is this duty cycle which again is actually the duty cycle of a pulse width modulated waveform. So the, uh, uh, the input from again from the plant model or the systems perspective is the duty cycle. The output is the output voltage that the boost converter is giving us. Okay, And so the job of the controller is to adjust the input to the plant in order to get the output of the plant to be what we want it to be. 
Now, in this case, the output of the plant is the output voltage. And um, this output voltage will depend on the duty cycle of the pulse width modulated signal. It may also, uh, well, it does depend on the input voltage to the boost converter. Uh, this is essentially our, our power supply here. Um, and the idea is that the controller will adjust for variations in the input voltage. It will adjust for variations in the load that's connected to the converter and make sure that the output voltage stays as constant as you can keep it. Okay. Now you'll also notice that we have this voltage divider which takes the output voltage at this point, which is V out, and scales it by um, a value that depends on these two resistors. And that scaled version of V out goes back then to our error computation. It's compared with V ref. And the idea behind the sort of uh, control theory approach to it is if the error is positive, which means that V ref is higher than our V out, or in other words, that our V out is too low, then uh, the uh, controller will adjust the duty cycle to make V out go higher. On the other hand, if the error is negative, which means that the output voltage is higher than it should be, the controller adjusts the duty cycle to reduce the voltage. Okay, so in order to understand how this all works, uh, the next thing we will do, and we'll do this in the next video because this one has already gotten a bit long, or well, longer than we can fit uh, a whole derivation into, we'll try to look at the relationship between the duty cycle of the input pulse modulated waveform, the voltage that's input to the boost converter by some power supply, and the output voltage of the boost converter. So we will derive this relationship. This relationship will help us see, hopefully, how this chunk of the circuit works, the boost converter, uh, the circuit that we'll uh, look at. Uh, we won't uh, spend any more time talking about the controller or the voltage reference. Uh, the controller design is actually something that is uh, uh, quite an interesting control theory problem and it turns out that uh, you can actually buy commercial chips that um, have the voltage reference, the controller, and uh, sometimes this uh, voltage divider built into them. Um, in fact some of them actually have the switch part of the boost converter built into them. So you can buy the chip um, you can set it up, you can set the controller up to give you the performance characteristics that you want, and then you add an inductor and a capacitor, and you have yourself a uh, switch mode power supply. So this will be the end of this video. In the next uh, part of this video, we will uh, actually look at the circuit inside the boost converter and try to do the analysis to figure out um, what the uh, relationship is between the input voltage, the output voltage, and the duty cycle. So we'll see you then.